we are gonna be bottle feeding Alfie, my three month old capuchin monkey, changing his diaper and inspecting his poop. Oh. Yeah, get the baba. Oh my goodness. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day so far. So guys, in today's video, we are gonna be bottle feeding Alfie, my three month old capuchin monkey, changing his diaper and inspecting his poop. Now you're all probably wondering, why the heck are we inspecting his poop? Well, when you notice an animal has healthy poop, then that means you have a healthy animal. If their poop was any sort of runny, you know something's going on in their stomach. They ate something that upset their stomach, but if you have hard or together poop, you know you have a healthy animal. Now when you have a happy animal, you have a happy owner. So that's exactly what we are gonna be doing today. We gotta make sure Alfie's poop is looking good. He's happy and he's healthy. So before we hop into today's video, here's a word from today's sponsor. Guys, I would like to give a huge thank you to Huge Casino for sponsoring today's video. Introducing Huge Casino, your ultimate destination for non-stop casino entertainment, available for free on iOS, Android, Facebook, and Amazon. With over 100 thrilling online casino games, ranging from retro classics to modern inspired slot machines, you'll find an array of options to suit your gaming preferences. Whether you're into poker, roulette, or blackjack, Huge Casino literally has it all. Joining a club in Huge Casino opens up a world of possibilities. You can play alongside your friends, tackle challenges together, and even compete in the prestigious Billionaire League. Huge Casino is all about the thrill of gaming without the risk, so it doesn't involve real money, but is designed purely for entertainment, so you can relax and have fun, which is something I definitely look forward to. What me and Alfie love about playing Huge Casino is leaving behind the worries of real world gambling and being able to build our social circle within the game. You having fun, buddy? Look at that! Good job, fist pump! So if you're looking for the ultimate gaming experience, Huge Casino is your go-to destination. Now don't hesitate, download Huge Casino today by clicking the link in the description down below. Guys, it's time to make Alfie's bottle. Of course, we have everything set up here, so let's just hop straight into making the formula. We're gonna open our jar on up, and here we have our baby formula. Now, just like human babies, since capuchins are so human-like, they actually eat actual baby formula. This is gonna help him develop, help him grow, help him become an intelligent, smart monkey. So we got one scoop in the container right here. We're just gonna go ahead and put it in, and we're gonna actually do three scoops. Two, and... Third scoop coming, and three. Now for every one scoop of formula, it is two scoops of water. So of course we have our nursery water because it is not gonna be tampered with any bacteria from the tap water. So we're gonna do one, all right, two, three, four, five, and six. We got our formula to water ratio. Now before we add anything else, we're actually gonna take our little spinner right here. That's going to evenly distribute all of the formula, make sure it's evenly mixed. And look at that guys, it is mixing so nice and well. We gotta make sure the bottom has none. All right guys, our formula is mixed up. Now we're gonna be adding our rice cereal. Now this is gonna help Alfie with his brain function, help him develop his brain, so we're gonna Open the top on up, all right, and pour a little bit in. Now, I kind of eyeball it, but we're gonna pour as we go, and we must mix it in, because we need to see if it's gonna be too thick or too loose. And you can see right here, this is too loose for a little monkey man right here. We need to make it a little bit thicker. So we're gonna keep pouring and mixing and see the consistency as we go. All right, we've almost made it to the perfect consistency, guys. And look at that, guys. We have the perfect consistency right there. It's not too liquidy, it's not too thick, but it is going to be absolutely perfect for little Alfie's tummy. And now what we've been adding to Alfie's formula since he's already three months old is some baby food. Now this is gonna help him develop, get all of the nutrients, get all the vitamins he needs. So we have some yummy bananas, we got some sweet potato, and of course we got some spinach, zucchini, and peas. Now guys, this doesn't sound too good. If I was a baby, I definitely would not want to eat this, but we're gonna go ahead and give these jars a good shape to make sure it is nice and mixed in. And we're just gonna be putting a scoop of each in. So first we're gonna start with our bananas and look at that guys, it looks absolutely yummy. So we're gonna pour this in, there we go. Now we don't wanna to put too, too much because he is not completely used to these 
foods. Now, if we just put a bunch in, it's going to upset his stomach. He's going to be having some diarrhea. So we want to slowly but surely increase the amount. Now we're going to add the last and final thing, guys, that literally does not look appetizing at all. But Alfie loves it, so we must add it in. All right? We're going to do a little more scoop. And there we have it. Let's take our mixer, guys. And we are going to mix our food in. And there we have it. Look at it, guys. And there we have it. We have the perfect consistency. You can see the baby food change the color of the formula. But Alfie is going to absolutely love this. Now, the reason we cannot make it too thick or too runny is because that will upset his stomach. If he has it too runny, he could possibly aspirate as well, which means he's going to choke on the formula. It's going to come out of his nose and a little bit's going to get into his lungs. And over time, if animals keep aspirating from drinking formula, well, they can develop pneumonia and that will be fatal. But we have the perfect consistency. We have a pro eater Alfie. Now the last thing that we are gonna do is we are going to be adding it into our bottle. So we have a freshly clean bottle right here. You can see at first, Alfie was eating about one ounce. He was actually eating a little less than one ounce, but we have a growing monkey man. So he's been eating a little bit more, but we're gonna see how hungry he is. So we're gonna pour, 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 and there we go. We have about an ounce and a half right here. Let's go ahead, screw the top back on. And now all we have to do is heat this up and feed baby Alfie. So we got our bottle warmer ready right here and you can see we have to add a little bit of water. So you can see we have a little water on the bottom but it's not enough to heat our bottle up. So we're gonna take our little measuring cup that comes with the bottle warmer. We're just gonna go ahead and pour the entire thing in. Since we're constantly making bottles for little Alfie, place our bottle on in and just with a click of a button, it is going to start heating up in three, two, and there we have it. Our bottle is heating up. So we gotta wait until we only have 30 seconds left and then we'll have a nice, evenly warm bottle. And our bottle is nice and ready. We're gonna give it a nice little shake. It's gonna be a little bit hot on the outside, but by taking it out at 30 seconds, it is going to be the perfect temperature. It's not gonna be too hot, it's not gonna be too cold. Now, if this bottle was too hot, then we cannot feed Alfie until it cools down because it will burn his esophagus, and that goes for any animal that's on a bottle. If it's too cold, he will not be able to properly digest it, so we're gonna give it a nice little shake to make sure it's evenly distributed, and we're gonna do finger tests. All right, guys. It is literally perfect. It's not too hot, not too cold. Now we are going to feed little Alfie. So let's head into the living room and go get the baby. Guys, we have the crazy monkey right here. Now, the last time you saw him, he was clean to a stuffed animal. So for a couple months, they will actually be doing this in the wild. They'll be clean to their mom. And that's exactly what he's doing to the stuffed animal. But you can see he's getting a lot mobile. So he is running around. He's exploring. He is a very curious monkey. Let's see what he's gonna do. Alfie, what you doing, man? You wanna come to your stuffed animal? It's time for Baba. Come on. Oh my goodness, look at him. He wants to check out everything. Now with capuchin monkeys, they are very, very curious. Now with capuchin monkeys, since they're very curious, anything they'll see, they'll try and grab it, whether it's an iPhone, whether it's a camera. They want to check it out and see what's up. And guys, he spotted his bottle. Oh my goodness, he knows what time it is. Oh my gosh, guys, look at him. He's holding his baba. Are you excited to eat it? Oh my goodness, I think he's ready to eat his baba. So we're going to come here, under the animal, and oh. Yeah, get the baba. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at him. He's a happy monkey getting his baba right here. And you can see he is just using his hand to try and hold this bottle. He's chugging it and he he's loving his bottle right here. Is that some good? Is that some good baba? It's gonna fill baby tummy. Oh, you're done already? Look, Alfie, I got more right here. Guys, I think he's done. Let's see if he wants some more. Want some more? Come on, buddy. You gotta eat it to be a strong monkey man. Do you want any more, buddy? So you can see when Alfie doesn't want any more, he'll just kind of play around with the nipple, play around with the bottle. And we can tell the little man is very, very full. And that's probably because he ate a lot in the last feeding. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna be changing his diaper now. Do you have a stinky in there? Does him baby got a bit stinky? Tell mommy. This that smell? Let's smell if he has a stinky, guys. Wait, wait. Ugh. Ugh. Now, 
I can definitely tell that little Alfie has a big old stinky on because it is smelly. Pewee, Alfie, that does not smell good at all. Now we're gonna try to get him to hold onto a stuffed animal so it'll be a lot easier to change his diaper. But he is so, so active. He just wants to explore all the time. Aren't you, aren't you just so, so curious of everything? Yeah, oh, that was not nice, buddy. He does not want mommy's love right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the wipe container. You wanna wipe? Here you go. We're gonna give him one wipe to hold. We're gonna take out a couple because with a big stinky, there's a lot of mess to clean up. All right, Alfie, we gotta, we gotta be over here. Come here, hold on to the stuffed animal. We're gonna go on head, open his diaper on up. Let's see, guys. Let's see the mess that is in this diapy. <gasps> oh my goodness, guys. This is disgusting. But you can see he's distracted with the wipey, so now is the perfect time to get the poop. Oh. My goodness, guys, you can see the consistency right here. It is a little mushy, and that is because we have started adding baby food to his formula, but this is the perfect consistency that we need. It's not runny at all, but this is actually a normal monkey poop. It's not gonna be completely hard, but since they're always eating fruits and veggies, and he is on baby formula, he's gonna have a little mushy monkey poop right here, so we must clean his booty to make sure that we get all the poopy out. Now, he is not a fan of this. Since he's still a baby, he's still learning, buddy. You can't, you can't grab onto that, all right? You want to be distracted by that? So we got the poopy, we're cleaning it. All right, guys, we got to make sure we get all of the poopy off of his booty. And you see, he's doing some twirls. He does not want mommy touching his booty right here. But buddy, whoa, 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 you can't touch the dirty diaper. That, that's really gross. Let's clean it, let's clean it. So we got to make sure we get every crack and crevice as fast as we can because we have a moving monkey man and... Look at that, guys. We got a clean monkey booty right here. Now it's time to put our new diaper on. Now, if you're all wondering if this diaper is meant for monkeys, well, this is actually a real baby diaper, but you can see we cut a little hole in it so he can fit his little tail. Are you excited for the diaper change? Are you excited? All right, so we're gonna open our diaper on up, try and get our monkey man back on his little stuffed animal, and grab his little tail right here, feed it through, work as fast as we can. We got a moving monkey. It is pretty difficult because he is just always moving around and wanting to explore. And there we have it. We got our diaper on our little monkey. We actually use preemie diapers because he is so, so little. Now, when we first got him, this diaper was literally the size of him. So you can see just how much he's grown, how much he's blossomed, and he is growing stronger every single day. Isn't that right? Yeah, that is right. Now, the reason we put diapers on him throughout the day is because we want to make sure his hygiene is nice and clean. Of course, we don't want him running around in his pee-pee and -pee, his poo-poo because he'll just go wherever he wants to. And then he'll sometimes play in his poop and it gets really gross. So we want to make sure our monkey man is nice and clean. He not has any poop or pee on him. Now, guys, if you didn't know this, Capuchin monkeys are actually New World monkeys. Now the difference between the New World and the Old World monkeys is most of the New World monkeys actually have prehensile tails, which means that they can put their entire body weight on their tail right here. Now if you can see, he's still learning, but he's getting the hang of it. If you actually grab his tail, you can see how he's using it to grip onto my hand. Now as he gets older, that is going to get better. Now guys, if you know Theo, my two-year-old Capuchin monkey, she literally runs around her enclosure holding on to her toys with just her tail. She is a complete crazy, crazy girl, but that's exactly how he's gonna be when he's older. He's gonna be able to hold toys, hold literally anything with his tail right here, and his tail is basically a fifth limb. Now, what I love about capuchin monkeys are how intelligent they are. They're actually one of the most intelligent primates in the world, so Theo actually knows how to open this. It did take her quite some time, but we're gonna teach little Alfie. We're gonna be feeding him some puffs. All right, are you ready? You gotta open it like this, buddy. Yeah, oh my goodness, you want some puffs? Grab the puffs. Yeah, guys, he's reaching his hand in. Oh my goodness, that's so yummy. The baby love the puffs. All right, you're gonna get some more? You gotta reach your hand in and grab it. Yeah, get it, get the puffs, right there. You can't stick your head in and grab it, buddy. Yeah, you gotta put your hand in there and grab the puffs, let's see. Is he gonna get more? Oh my goodness, that is so, so tasty. So you can just see how smart Alfie has become. Now, of course, every day he's gonna get smarter and smarter as he gets older, as he grows into a big monkey man. But guys, that's going to end today's video. If you all enjoyed today's video, seeing little baby Alfie, watching him grow up, will give this video a big thumbs up. Now guys, I want you to stop what you're doing and comment down below what you think we should teach Alfie next. And guys, if you wanna see this crazy monkey man, you wanna see a whole bunch of other animals, well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel in the link down below.
And guys, don't forget to check out and download Huge Casino in the description box down below.